Hello YouTube Fab416 here playing some XCOM Enemy Within and this is the last video in this playthrough. That's right, I have reached the end of the game. I have a soldier able to use the Gollop Chamber and I pretty much have all the money I need. All the research is done, this so there's nothing it. left to do Once but to get these the aliens the hell off my planet. Back. This is what we've been working towards this whole time. We likely will not be able to make any developments beyond this point. Oh, he's not the one I want using it? Hang on. Let's back out. Um... Soldiers... Why can't she... Oh, because she's not wearing the Psy armor. Um, We've done it, go. Commander. Dr. Valen is confident that this soldier has the power to interact with the alien device. I recommend we get started immediately. She's going to be the quote-unquote volunteer, so she needs to live. Alright, let's use the Gollop Chamber, see what happens. With each of our major victories, we have encountered incrementally more powerful aliens. After the first alien craft was shot down, they began a campaign of terror. The alien forces were led by a sectoid commander, a powerful psionic creature. Upon capturing the hyperwave beacon, we detected a cloaked ship carrying a being of incredible psionic power. Having captured the device it sacrificed itself to protect, an immense alien ship has now appeared within our atmosphere. We can only assume that a being of even greater psionic power is on board this vessel. We have already pushed human evolution so far, and I fear where the next step will take us. But our enemy leaves us with no other choice. A new type of weapon is required. Obviously, major spoilers, if you want to find out what happens for yourself, uh, I suggest you <laughs> skip this video and move on. Uh, I don't know why they even give you the option to do that. Alright, there's nothing left to do but kick some alien ass. Let's go. Alright, no more screwing around. Alright, so Colonel Durand is the quote unquote volunteer. She needs to survive the mission. I'm not entirely sure if she has to lead the mission. Like I said, I am not screwing around. I'm bringing both mech troopers with me. whether I need a sniper, but... He only has Mind Fray as a Psy ability, but he has incredibly high will, which is very important for this mission. You'll see why. Um, I'm gonna give him the Ghost Armor, not the Psy Armor. Visibility is a little more important for a squad side sniper. Does he need... He doesn't even really need a scope. He has 117 aim. Um, give him the nano fiber vest for that little bit of extra survivability. Of course, we want it to look cool. All right. Um, probably gonna need a support. Where is he, Mr. 
Ace Reynolds. Titan armor. Plasma rifle, plasma pistol, chicken plating, and medkits. Actually, since I'm taking two max troopers, I can put chicken plating on all my characters, which is nice. Alright, who else am I bringing? Tempted to bring another support. I'm gonna bring an assault. But I'm, going to, no, I'm actually gonna give her a plasma rifle. An alien grenade. Um I'm really torn between Salt and another heavy. This is my next best heavy. This brick here. Her will isn't the highest. What about Mr. Ben Sanders? His will is even lower. So this is the last mission of the game. So the layout of the ship is always the same. And the conditions are always the same. The volunteer must survive. Now listen well. Long have we watched and volunteer also gains a new psi ability called Rift which creates a very large area of effect, does I think like 5 damage. Create a devastating psionic storm. Uh, it damages friendlies as well though, so you have to be careful with it. Um, I think it's a dead end, that's why I can't go any farther that way. The rarest of traits, finally within our grasp. On my way! Look over here! Alright, so I was wrong. I could go that way. Oh, I got two sectoids and a sectoid commander. Yes, sir. Dash him up because he'll be invisible. If I put him here, he actually has a shot at the second commander. No, he does not. Alright, so let's just dash him up then. Point putting my troop in cover. Now, can you run and gun and hit one of them? Oh, wait, you're a support. Never mind. On Might as well get as many as I can to high ground. So I already screwed up by triggering the encounter too soon. And moving to target location. Let's flank that thing. At the very least, I can force it to move instead of shoot first. And I dash you to here. At least you're in full cover. Okay, so 
so he's trying for a mind control. And succeeding, fortunately. That sucks. Brilliance. They were marred by their cowardice and frailty, which made them cruel and ultimately useless. So he's gonna hide and then take a shot. Hostile fire on this position. Like my defense is so high they can't even hit it. Um yeah, I'm just gonna go straight in for the hill on that. Alright, so um, for the soldier who was mind controlled is out of commission for a turn, but that's okay. Oh, I have double tap. Yeah, why the hell not? It's a triple kill! Unstoppable! That is why I love squad size snipers. I used to not like them, but now I love them. Alright, so usually the easiest way um, to move through this ship is honestly straight up the middle, as dumb as it sounds. You just plow right up the middle. Yeah, we'll shoot. The, mini uh, the enemies uh, spawn in set positions, and they pretty much just fall out of the sky. So there's not too much you can do. Keep your soldiers together, and you should be fine. Location confirmed. Got something over here. Oh, more sectoids. That's okay, I still have plenty of soldiers who haven't moved yet. And can take them out pretty easily. Alright, he's probably going to take a shot at Colonel Durand here. Do better than that. For me, his aim is terrible. Oh, boy. Wow. I'm a little bit flanked here. Um, not bad, though. That's a shot we're taking. My squad sight sniper is still good. Um, we've got shots at all, of them, almost all of them. Um, I'm gonna kill one. Wait, is it 100% on all of them? And what are the conditions for double tap? Soldier, oh, I can't. Uh, double tap. Allows the sniper to fire a shot that causes the target's main. Oh no, this is a sailing shot. Double tap. Allows both actions to be used for standard shot, headshot, or disabling shot, provided no moves were made. Alright, so I'm going to use my double tap ability to. Should pretty much guarantee me a kill on the disc here. Oh, huh, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm really confused. I guess I had to get a kill for double tap to work. Um, grenade's not a bad idea here. I can't wait to reach. All right, well, let's move up so not at such disadvantage here. Discs. The drones are honestly not even worth your time to shoot at. There we go. And I get two chances to bring this down. So I'm gonna need both. Well, I'm in good shape. She's free of the mind control now. <laughs> All 
All right, so again, I gotta probably gonna spend this turn just getting I my soldiers regrouped. Make sure everyone's got full ammo. Reloading. Good to go. Again, I'm not entirely sure why double tap didn't uh, trigger there. I think I have to get a kill. Oh, I should have reloaded there. That's okay. There's no meld in this level for me to capture, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm gonna hang back here. Won't trigger any new encounters yet. Cover position here. Reload. Ammunition loaded. She hasn't done anything yet, since so she's flying control, so I can just move her up. Yeah, nothing happening there. Okay, okay, Again, one I'm more going. turn of getting everyone together, and then we'll move forward as a group. Down. Reload. Overwatch. Overwatch. And Roger that. for the sake of moving. And Overwatch. All right, so I'm pretty sure my next encounter is going to be. I think it's either chrysalids or floaters. Let's uh, let's move my squad side sniper first. Good to go. The new one faces a great foe and an equally great disappointment. Okay, a floater. He's cloaked. Oh, now he's not cloaked. Well, that's bullshit. Still. Oh wow, there's a lot of them. 77, 91, 71, 81. Alright, yeah, I'm going to take the high percentage shots. The regular floaters, they die in one shot to pretty much every weapon I have. not even be worth getting my guys into cover if I can just straight up kill them all. Uh, we'll see. Head don't want to back troopers hogging all the cover. Fifty-five, fifty-five, sixty-five. This is not very good. It's a heavy floater. Okay. So it was probably worth a shot. Um, That's affirmative. 86, 66, 76. Oh, I'm gonna do the smart thing here. Mind fray, get a guaranteed kill. We are gonna wish you still. Alright, now it's the volunteer's turn. Uh, where are the enemies? We've got two up here, one over there. I don't really have a shot at any of them. There's no great cover either. There's no good cover. Uh, Alright, you move up. Yes, you! And Overwatch. Does anyone try anything stupid? Yeah, there's covers a little flogged, so these guys back on Overwatch. There we go. X-ray neutralized. He's gonna do that stupid flanky thing. Jokes on you, I have someone on Overwatch. They're shifting their attack. They're on the move. Um, They're keeping attack. close to me. 
Yeah, just mind fray, insta kill. Uh, thanks for trying. Next. You are a squad side sniper. Pretty useless. Um, I'm gonna kill that floater first. He's down. So now when I move him, already there. He will be stealth. Position confirmé. Je suis prêt à y aller. Moving to position. That was dumb. Why did I do that? Get into, get into cover at least. Heading there now. Heading there now. Defensive position here. Back in. Yourself. I don't even think it's worth bringing my sniper out of stealth to take these guys out. Aye, aye, Commander. Alright, does that trigger another encounter? was our search. And now, with success so close <laughs> Dashing here. I'm going I need to get as my guys fast as up. I can. I'm rolling. Does this trigger anything? It does. Uh, don't want to move him there. Because again, that blocks the way. They were unable to embrace the gift. Another and now we're dealing with some thin men. Okay, he can move in. I'm on it, Commander. New contact. Start taking them out. All right, so they get their free turn. That's fine. Holding cover position. Oh, I did have a shot there. That's all right. Moving to position. Let's do this. Enemy fire on my position. Je rejoins la position. damage. Like, 
That was complete and utter overkill, but what you gonna do? Moving to designated coordinates. This choke point here makes it kind of difficult to keep my soldiers together, but just don't send me into any dark corners. Yeah, yeah. Double time. Okay, you ready to breach the door? Does Ghost Armor protect against my prison? It does. Okay. Wait, I have a shot at something. <laughs> Apparently I taught I taught an enemy. And it's flanked. No, oh, I'm not even gonna waste the ammo. Mind fray. Voice. Not even gonna waste the ammo. Him right in the middle. You do the poison. So is anyone else wearing Titan armor? I'm on it, Commander. We're green to go. Locked and loaded. Moving to position. Now, unfortunately, Psy armor does not make twice. you immune to poison. Something to consider. Let me reload. <laughs> Alright, here's where things get interesting. Is that poison gone? It is. Okay, I'll go. I'm gonna take an extra turn just to get everyone into the correct position that I want. I want everyone ready to move on that door. Ten four. Mind control this thing. Test will fine. <laughs> Alright, so that's the biggest threat pretty much off the map. Um You are my squad sites. Will you stealth on the move? Oh he will. Okay. So it's worth getting him to just hunker down. Whereas my mech troopers can just make start laying waste. Unfortunately, these guys are in full cover. So these shots might be a bit difficult to hit. What I say is I ream out this alien skull with a with a Objective beam. Adam. Um... I think I might just dash him into cover. Solid copy, Commander. Choke points are not great. That's affirmative. I don't have a shot anything. So just for shits. I'm gonna put a proxy mine right there. Proximity mine. They move position. it all. They're gonna take a pretty good chunk of damage. And let's get you Moving up in cover. Come on, no, you don't wanna move. <laughs> oh, that was that was hilarious. All right, what's he shooting at? Okay. So I've got my um, little mind-controlled buddy here. 
for three turns. So I might as well just, like, send him as far ahead as I can. Why the hell not? How far can he go? That's pretty freaking far. That's really far. Away you go, mister. An artificial warrior. All right. So I'm probably just going to send my Mouton Berserker in to punch those things. Um, I hate Tectopods so much. Let's see if I can keep him stealth. Here he should have a good shot at both. Uh, disabling shot is going to be very important here. Make sure my guys have full ammo. System and I'm going to keep my support guy well back. Because he very well may have to revive us all after this is done. I'm and on I'm going to send my mech troopers up the flanks. Uh, onto your proxy mine? No. Just, uh... We're all providing cover at my location. Watch. On the move. Come on, you know you want to shoot at that Mouton Berserker who's not doing anything. I'm not entirely sure how that thing got a reaction shot. But that hurt like hell. Neither of them have taken damage yet. What I want to do is get one of these shredder rockets down there. Shot is blocked. I'm gonna have to move her up. Okay, okay, I'm going. And just pray. really weird how none of my guys have any shots. Heading there now. This is infuriating Position facing confirmed. these two because they, they hug up this wall down here. And then you're like, you try and flank them, and their aim and their defense is so high that they just murder you. I'm on the move. The fact that and the fact that they're always on Overwatch you can't really rush them. I said I kind of want to get him down there. I have a shot, but I can start launching prox mines in case they move. I want my kinetic strike guy down there. Kinetic strike does 27 damage. Watch your step. So that's pretty significant. He'll just take a shot here. This that sucks. And they really want her dead. Can't take another hit. I'm hella confused, but okay. So I don't know where that other one went. Hopefully, it's somewhere inside this blast radius. Hopefully, there'll be nothing left. All right, I hit both. Excellent. Now, they take more damage from everything. I've got a shot at that, and a squad side shot at that. Six, that's 
still not a lot of damage. I do, however, have double tap available. Uh, I'm going to use that to get a disabling shot on the other one. There we go. So I don't have to worry about that for a turn. I think this is where I get, I get my mech trooper down there and start mixing it up. Yeah, I can use his electroshock. And again, they're on Overwatch. Just gotta get lucky. Except for some reason that moved him into a position where he doesn't even have a shot. Now I'm confused. Alright, flamethrowers do nothing. Um... Now you have kinetic strike, so I'm just gonna walk it right in. And I'm gonna punch this thing in the face. It's gonna be great. Here we go, 27 damage, coming up. 18! Or shit. Okay, um... Let's see if she can finish it off. There we go. Alright, so that's one. I don't have to worry about the other one this turn. Ouch explosion actually hurt my mech trooper. Um, yeah, you just heal her. Solid copy. Good as new. All right. Well, there's not much this thing can do, except that. And by nothing, I mean you can do a huge area of effect attack. Alright, well, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Ready to engage. 18 damage. I'm gonna see if my. Yeah. Come on, kill it! What are they sending at me now? Utana leads. I need everyone to kind of cluster up. You start healing people. Actually use that on yourself. Can I get her to the full cover? That is full cover. Gotta be really careful here. Roger that. Would I get to kill aliens over there? My guys are in kind of a vulnerable position right now. If they're just going to sit on Overwatch, I'm content to let them do that. I will tell you why in a minute. Everyone who's been hurt in this general area. Moving to position. Use another med kit on her. Good as new. Let's have you fall back to here. I think it's good. Headed there now. Now I can use a restorative mist. Repeals going. Alright, so now I'm in good shape to move up. Just get a reload in. Back online. Over, uh, Overwatch. You can move up. Heading there now. Not sure why that worked. Oh, okay, that sealed it. And reload. We're green to go. Um. 
Yeah, let's get aggressive with him. He's got flamethrowers, all kinds of cool shit, so let's just send him up. I can pretty much toast both of them. Alright, so I get a reaction shot of that, of that guy. And it hits. Very nice. Shut up, phone. Alright, um... I think I'm just gonna let my mech trooper handle that. He's got a shop. I move him up to here. Uh, can I hit both of them? Panics and moves. Does that put him in range of my sniper? Probably not. Moving to designated position. It's worth dashing him up though, because he stays concealed. Uh, you guys can just kind of stay put. Is it worth popping one more restorative mist? Yeah, it is. We're approaching the end of the, like, the last encounter here. It's worth getting my guys as close to full health as possible. Got it, moving. Next to these little grav lift thingies, I can move my guys up. Reynolds, he can dash pretty far, but not far enough to get cover. Where's that Mouton hiding? She Alright, now I can set up for the final encounter. No more enemies are going to spawn until I walk through that next door, so I'm going to dash a lot of my guys up here. Carefully, moving on target this location. Final mission, or this final encounter, I should say. Moving. Cover here. Running. All right. So the plan for this final, well, I'll, I'll talk about it more when it happens. Definitely want your. Okay, well, my mech troopers are actually blocking the entire way, so. I've shot my teeth. I'm up. Actually, I'm going to dash him. This way. Position. And pray this doesn't trigger the final mission. Okay, so. I have a note.
noticed him yet. He can dash a lot far, a lot far. Oh, because he's got the kinetic strike module. Um, can my other soldiers actually get by him physically? They can. So I'm going to move my squad sight sniper up. Ass. This might trigger it. We've got multiple contacts. It does. Okay. That's fine. Gives my guys a chance to react. This last mission is tough because you can't really dictate the encounters on your terms. Like, I could just inch my guys up, inch my guys up, inch my guys up, but there would still be a point where I have to I have to give them a turn of free reign. So what the guy's basically explaining is that the aliens, their reason for invading was not to destroy Earth. They're looking for a species that can quote-unquote ascend, which I guess has something to do with the psionic power. And they mention, they vaguely mention a greater threat, which is an obvious setup for a sequel, but, you know, I'm cool with that. Alright, so we've got three Ethereals and two Mouton Elites. The Ethereal in the middle is the big bad boss. He is the main threat. Done Killing loaded. him ends the game. So what I'm going to do, leave some token forces behind on Overwatch, but... I need to start throwing my guys at the Ethereals. I honestly don't even need to worry about cover. Just gonna shift everyone up this side. Just gonna score that was cover. Except for Mrs. Durand here. So I'm going to have to let them just wail at me for one turn and hope my entire team doesn't get mind controlled. Here comes the mind control. Mind control failed. Alright, that's good. If uh, one of the other Ethereals mind controls, I can, you know, have a chance to pressure them. Mind controlled. Shit. Needed him. Not mind controlled soldier. It also causes them to go dark for some reason. When they get mind controlled. It's a reaction shot, which is nice. Miss though. Alright, first things first. Oh, we're not done yet. I was really hoping to get out of this without any getting mind controlled. Uh, that's a good camera angle right that. there. Alright, um... Rift. I think it's time. Shot is blocked. Alright, if I can't... If Rift is only gonna hit one enemy, I might as well start shooting rockets. Hit lots of stuff. Tons of damage. Can I... Yeah, that actually might be more worth it. Eat this. that's mind controlling my mech trooper. Ooh, that's a nice hit. Might actually be able to just straight up end this. Yeah, that's worth that's worth going for. Bam! Thanks for coming. Once again, Squad Sight Sniper saves the day. Without us, what are you? I think I have to listen to him talk. Nope, never mind. Alright, so from here on out, it's just closing cutscenes. So I'm going to take the opportunity to say thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed yourself, by all means, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And pick up XCOM. It's, um... Pretty sure it's still on sale on Steam, and if not, it's still not that expensive. It's a great game, definitely worth your time. And if they ever do make a sequel to this game, you better believe it's gonna be back up on my channel.
What the hell is happening? All right, I'm going to let the final cutscene play out. See you for watching. Behaving like a dying star. Becoming a black hole. At this distance, the Earth will be consumed. Central, I'm bugging out. The package is not on board. Waited as long as I could, sir. Sir, the alien ship is in motion. What direction? What direction? Up.